Hello, my name is Mike Pfaff and this is my YouTube channel, Living in the Illusion. Now, as customary, as I start a video, I go back and give a slight review of the video before, because these all seem to kind of tie together. So to understand our current video, which is part two of what we started last video, this is a slight review. Uh, our subject for, uh, last time was, it's surprising how energy turns into objects. How energy turns into objects. Now, in our last video, and I'll reference it up here, and that's part one, uh, is uh, the statement, all is energy. Outside of you is all energy. Now, uh, I also would like to suggest that you look at the uh, description of the video, both last one and for this one. Uh, there's a lot of information in it, and uh, when I talk about A Course in Miracles, there will be a reference to that, that uh, uh, quote. Uh, now here, all is energy, and within the energy, uh, which is infinite, okay, are different fields that interact. And as those fields interact, uh, fixed patterns are formed within the system. Now, the patterns are fixed, but the energy within the pattern and within the field is always moving. So, uh, uh, last time I referenced a... Uh, 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 a uh, whirlpool as an example of the energy moving and the pattern remaining in the river or in the ocean as the energy flowed through it. Because this happens all the time. Uh, also, uh, patterns moving within the energy field because the field is constantly moving, the pattern that seems to be an object or a fixed behavior is also moving within the energy system. And then you could have uh, patterns moving with the uh, fixed energy. In other words, the energy field seems to be solid or not moving, never seems to be solid. Uh, but a field can move within it. Like uh, uh, heat can move within a room where you, you have the uh, heat coming in from a furnace or some other um, uh, source and that the energy might be hotter or cooler in one space or another within the same field. Uh, so you have to use your imagination. Uh, also, everything happens at once. Inner fields get entangled. Fields that are separate move together, become one system. Energy flows in and out, and fixed patterns develop within this whole thing. Now, it's the fixed patterns that I want to bring to your attention because that's what we're going to talk about in the next video. And this is our subject for today, which is the same thing, except it's part two. Part two. It's surprising how energy turns into objects. Now, uh, today, before we start, uh, our new adventure, uh, we're having a little oolong tea today. It's, it's a different flavor. 
than most teas, and it's uh, quite pleasant. Now, in our little ascent, we've already started a little bit here, so I want to get the idea across. You're going to have to use your imagination. I'm sorry. See how good you are at your imagination, because my drawing isn't that good. But I want you to look at this as a fixed pattern, fixed pattern within an energy field. The pattern has a vector or a path that it's following based upon the field and all of the interaction that's in the field. So it's moving in the field. The fixed pattern is moving in a field. Now that should be pretty easy to get. You can think of it as a uh, water spout that uh, is fixed, moving in the ocean, uh, or something like that. But it is a fixed pattern, has a certain shape to it. Now, the shape is not an object. You think, oh, I see it, it must be an object. That's no, not an object. It's an energy. And it is in such a form that your senses can see the fixed pattern. Most of the time, you can't see it. But because I want you to see it, I drew it this way. So most of the time, you will not see the pattern. But your senses will take in the information. Now that's our next step. We have a fixed pattern within an energy system, and that pattern is moving within the system. Now, you see it has a vector or a direction and a force. It's moving. If we now had another field that, say, struck it, struck it, another field right here. Not too good a pen, but we'll do the best we can. Another field here that has a vector or a path that it's taken. It's a field now. Don't think of it as, a, as just a particle or something. This is a whole field moving against this fixed pattern. Now, it has a path this way. When it hits this vector, it's going to cause it to change and move in another direction. So the energy here that hits or interfaces with this energy system, with this fixed pattern, is going to cause the path or the vertex or, or the uh, vector of the fixed pattern to change. And so when this, I'll try a different marker, this pattern of energy hits this fixed pattern, it changes the vector of the fixed pattern. And it will go not in the direction that it's hit, but it will be a combination of these two vectors and it will move in a different direction. Now, what we're going to do now, <laughs> see, I, I got to get you to think about the energy as not a physical thing. It has no physical properties. It has direction and, and, and it has some processes in it. It's fixed. It's not an object. Now, as this energy moves and another energy comes against it with a different path, it's going to change the vector of this one. Now, over here, uh, I want you to see this. 
because you got your five senses five senses however that is make believe that's five senses five senses right here looking at it. you got your eyeball you got your ear you got your hand where you're feeling you got your tongue hanging out you got your uh, uh, what's the other one oh, tongue here uh, taste Oh, that's a taste. Uh, hearing, tongue, whatever the other one is. I get confused when I get excited. Okay, so we got the five. It's looking at this. What's it seeing? It's seeing information. So this energy system, this fixed pattern, and the way it's changed, it's all, it's all chaotic. It's all chaos out here. Your senses are picking it up chaos. And they're bringing it to you because each sense picks up a certain type of information. It doesn't pick up everything. It picks up what the eye can pick up. What's the eye pick up? Reflected light waves of energy. It doesn't pick up the pattern. It picks up what the pattern reflects. The ears, what do the ears hear? The ears hear the energy hitting the eardrum. Uh, your, your hand, your hand is, is, oh, is the hand or your touch is very unique. How, how he can pick hardness and softness and send you information. Because that's all is out here, is information. And inside, you have now information that's chaotic, that's chaos, that's chaotic. All is chaos. What's it mean? What does all of this mean? to you. Nothing. Nothing as received. What do you do with this data? What can you do with this data? Well, you can pair it. You can pair it to what you know. To pull out what you are aware of, what you know to be true for you out of this chaos. And what is this? This is your belief system. What's in your belief system? All your life experiences, all your memories, all your moral judgments, all of that is in there and you are filtering chaos through what you know to be true. And out of that, you get a little data that is meaningful for you. Isn't that nice? So now you have stuff that's meaningful for you, data that is meaningful for you. What do you do with that? What do you do with this data on the inside, chaos on the outside? You make sense out of it. Again, talking about the senses. Senses don't tell you anything. So you filter it through what you know. Now you have information that is important and fits your belief system. This is your world. This here are objects.
Forget it. These are objects. This is where your objects are. This is where your objects are. Not out here. Out here, chaos. Out here, object. So if you take this information in, filter it, and you create what that information means for you, that is the important part. Now, if you are doing that, taking the information in, chaos, making something meaningful out of it, you create your object. So, what? Let's, let's make believe, which is always fun. Let's make believe that this object outside of you, based upon your information that you have, is a ball. Is a ball. Oh, my goodness. What can we do with this ball? What do we do with it? We project it onto this fixed energy, this pattern. So this is energy. This is what you create. What is out here? Energy. Now, the thing is, what do you believe is out there? A ball. That's what you believe is out there. What is out there? Energy. What did you create based upon your experience, your belief system, your values, all of that? A ball. Or a house or a car, or a dog, or a light, or whatever is an object. You create it here. Then you project it over here, and you say, oh no, this is what's out there, a ball. It's no ball. It's energy. It never was a ball. The only ball is in here. The only ball is in here, your creation. So now we have this ball sitting here in the energy field. Now we're going to have to take a look at course in miracles at this point. And here's what it says. All meaning that you give to the world outside of you must thus reflect the sight you saw inside. In other videos, I made the statement, and also in the course, and also from science, what you have outside of you is a direct reflection of what you make inside. The outside reflects the inside. Outside is energy. It's chaotic. And you are living in that. You are taking the chaotic information inside, converting it. That's what the senses do. The senses convert it into electromagnetic and chemical signals. You look at those signals based upon your experience or your belief system, and you create your world. And then you take that world and you put it on top of the infinite energy system, and it fits 
perfectly. That's what I want you to get. Your projection on top of the energy system will be a perfect match. You create it in there because of the input energy, chaos, that you convert into an object, and then you convert it out here. There are no objects out here. There are fixed energy patterns. Oh, Pilgrim, you're the creator of your world. You create it inside. Everything, everything that you believe is outside of you, you have created inside based on the energy, the fixed patterns that are out here that you pick up, the information, and you create your world. And then you do a magnificent thing. Once you project it, you disown it. You disown it. You say, no, no, I didn't do that. That's what's out here. It's not out there. You believe it's out there because your egoic belief system is there's an objective world out here, and I project that, then I forget I project it so that I can say, oh, look at there's an outside world. There's a ball out there. Now, the ball is in there. You create it. Oh, this will take a lot of imagination. And in order to see it all, you have to change your vision. In order to see it all, you're going to have to change your belief system. In order to recognize you're in an illusion, because this is a simulation. This is a inside simulation of what you believe is out here. We have much to think about here in the illusion. We have much to recognize that you are the creator of your world. That also includes me. You create me the way I am, as you see me, as you interpret me, as you take in the chaotic information, which is me, and convert it into your world. Be good to yourself. This is an illusion, but it's a magnificent illusion. And when you start recognizing how you are creating it, you can change it. But if you believe, oh no, it's out here, you can't change it. I was going to show something else a little bit, but I don't have a lot of time, so I'll just say it. A picture of this ball now, which is energy that you create. Now another, inf now another force hits the ball, changes direction, your senses pick that up and convert that, follow that energy as the energy moves. You know what they might say? It's a home run! Peace. Le matin, quand je m'y lève, j'y mets la main sur le cou. Sur le cou de ma bouteille, j'y fais faire un petit glouglou. J'aime à boire long les relons l'or, j'aime à boire long les relons l'or. J'aime à boire long les relons l'or, j'aime à boire long les relons l'or. Sur le cou de ma bouteille, j'y fais faire.